Hello and welcome to Bradman 365. It is day 16 of Bradman 365. And uh, anyways, uh, just an amazing day. It was fantastic. Beyond fantastic. It was going pretty good. Okay, uh, Virgin Mobile sent me another phone, a room or two for Virgin Mobile that I uh, I don't need. So I'm probably going to give it away as a prize. I'll probably give it away over the weekend. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I might do something where there's some sort of sign up thing and then on the Sunday show or the Wednesday show, there it is. Poof, you magically, somebody wins. I don't know, we're working on it. We're working on it. But, here's the deal. And this is the best part because I have to be completely top secret so I don't know what I can't tell you and I can't tell you. So I've just got to be completely top secret. Uh, I've been working with a production company for I Dump For You. And I got an email with some stuff I can't show you that says that on Monday something big is going to happen. So there you go. On Monday, something big will happen. It might not be huge, but it's big. It's big in the grand scheme of things. It's big in the fact that a year from now, I'll look back at that and say, that was an important moment in the history of I Dump For You, Bradman 365, my life, my move to New York. Where, you know, a year from now, Wherever I'm at, whatever I'm doing, I'll look back and say that was the day that really just was a pinpoint, pinnacle point in my life. And so you can witness this. And so you can watch this today and three months from now even maybe, you could probably look back and go, I know what that is. Because three months from now you'll probably know what it is. A month from now you might know what it is. The stuff that's going on is so fantastic, and it's just so, and the hardest part is keeping it a secret, but you gotta keep it a secret because that's how the industry works, or whatever the term is, I don't know what. Anyways, that's how it works. So, it causes me a lot of stress, but at the same time, it's good stress. But then at the same time, you get a lot of jackasses. A lot of people wanna see stuff. They don't know what's going on and what, you know, if I can't tell them something, they don't believe it's real. So, that happens. And, you know, you deal with it. Here's my other lesson of the day. I think it's really important that you know who your friends are. And your friends, to me, your friends have to be people you actually know. I mean, you have, I think you actually have to physically... Just because you do a video with somebody on YouTube does not make that person your friend. Uh, just because you follow somebody on Twitter doesn't make it seem like if you unfollow them on Twitter, it's a huge deal, okay? There's a thing where I'd only be offended by something like that if it was my friend. If it was somebody I actually knew. Like somebody who I hung out with on a regular basis. Say it was somebody I hung out with on a regular basis. We did a video together and then they said, that sucks, I never want to do a video with you again. That would hurt my feelings because I know that person in real life. Okay? If somebody does a YouTube video with me and I've never met the person before, other than maybe a phone conversation or something like that, then you know, I'm not really I'm not really concerned. Or when somebody says, I love when people go, I'm unfollowing you on Twitter, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, the only reason that you told me you're unfollowing me on Twitter is because you weren't tweeting anything important for me to read to begin with. If I was paying attention to you, I would realize you weren't on Twitter. And that's happened before. There's been people that I actually pay attention to that all of a sudden I don't see their tweets anymore and then I realize um, I can't message them because they're not following me. So, you know, or and it could be something simple or it could be they just decided they didn't want to follow me anymore. You know, I'm not too concerned about it. It's, it's Twitter. If you were my best friend, you said, I don't want to be your best friend anymore, which has happened to me. I had a girl 
I'll tell this story. I had this, I had this a friend, um, and I won't say her first name, but she, uh, I helped her out with a lot of stuff. Um, she was struggling, and we became friends, and I gave her money once in a while, and, uh, took her out to eat, because she wanted something to eat sometimes, and, uh, help, I did videos with her, and did, I, I helped her build sets for plays she was doing, things like that, and she was really honestly like my best friend, and we hung out constantly, there wasn't any hanky-panky or anything like that, we just hung out, and then, uh, she did a play, she got done with the play, and the Sunday she got done with the play, we tore down the set, I we took the set back to the scene shop. I went to drop her off at her apartment. She opened the door. She turned around to me and she said, I hate you. I don't want to ever talk to you again. And you've never been my friend. And then she slammed the door. And I was really taken aback because I was like, so you mean this entire four months you've been using me for what? To build a set? For a play? For free? Because I got paid for it, so it didn't make any sense. I didn't know what she wanted, what she, what her, her accomplishment was, but I think her deal was she became my friend thinking that somehow stuff was going to happen. And I kept telling her stuff was going to happen. I kept telling her things were going to change. And when the stuff didn't change in the time she wanted it to, then she figured, there's no need to hang out with Brad anymore. I'm done with Brad. And... Then right after she did that, that's when stuff started happening. So it was this amazing thing where I was just like, hey, wait, no, there you go. So that's one of the, my stories from my past that uh, I just want to bring up. It was kind of random, random rambling today on Bradman 365, but that's how it works. Um, I'm going to get going. I want to get to bed early because I got a lot of stuff to do in the morning. It's going to be a busy weekend, which will turn into a busy week next week. Amazing week next week. But keep watching the vlog. I'll tell you how to win that Virgin Mobile phone, and uh, you'll keep track of what's going on with everything. So, thank you so much. I love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day.